Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. This week, we've been visiting with Kevin Lyons. He's the Monroe County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Joanna. Well, Kevin, we are a pasture-based state. We have a lot of livestock, and one of the blessings that we have is we're able to grow a lot of grass. However, <laughs> <laughs> we can grow other things too. <laughs> we can, and, and this spring, a lot of weeds are there. Yes, mm, they are. We're, we're doing a great job growing weeds where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> we are too. My farm is, is uh, it, it, it's taken a lot to get them under control. I, I usually do a pretty good job of trying to spray every year and keep things down. And I got ahead of most of it this time, but there's spots that I miss that are definitely uh, show that I missed them. And you know, we have a lot of bare spots because the winter was tough. We mm -hmm. have a lot of uh, sacrifice areas that yes. were bare. Mm -hmm. and it's just really sometimes hard to get some seed established. And so weeds are gonna crop up anywhere there's open area mm -hmm. for them to do that. Yeah, anytime there's a opening, something's gonna uh, take advantage and fill that spot in. Uh, normally it's not the beneficial grass. The weeds seem to always be around and lay there. And when they find the opportunity and everything's just right, they'll they'll make a, another appearance. So, but we have a lot of pastures that need some uh, upkeep coming out of this winter. And okay, and uh, Kevin, you probably get the same call I do. I have weeds. I want one thing to spray, mm -hmm. and I want to annihilate all of them. That's right. But that's not the way it works, <laughs> is it? No. And I, and they want to come back in the very next day and renovate. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to work either, because most of the chemicals that you can use for weed control will have some type of. Uh, period where you have to wait before you can reestablish grass into it. So I always say do your homework and that's mm -hmm. one thing you want to you want to do your homework on. Whatever chemical you're going to use for that weed control and there's a wide variety of them and we have a great publication here that does a really good job of describing those and gives you a background on what weeds they kill the best and uh, what weeds are uh, they don't and a little bit about the product uh, but they all have a different wait period uh, some of them don't have a very long wait period after you use them to come back. Uh, some of them have several weeks, months wait period. Uh, so if you're looking at renovating or uh, doing a, a, you know, a little touch up to your pastures with a quick no-till, you gotta gotta know how those chemicals are gonna affect those new seedings. Yeah, and we have some really sophisticated weed control chemicals that do mm -hmm. a nice job of mm -hmm. controlling some of our hard to control weeds, but it, it has a longer, persistence in the soil. It does, very much. And some of them even have uh, uh, over a year, mm -hmm. if, if you use that chemical on your pasture, uh, you're not supposed to sell any uh, forage off of that farm without letting the, per the person that's buying it know what you use because they'll take it to their farm and, and it can cause problems. So uh, that's how uh, long the residual is on some of those. And even it passes through the cattle and into manure, it's still active in that manure. And when you apply it on maybe a tobacco patch or a cornfield or whatever it might be besides the pasture ground, then you can have some problems. So read that label and know what you're dealing with. But uh, the more powerful it is, uh, the more broad spectrum it is, usually uh, it's a little trickier to to get that residual down. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know, knowing what weeds that you had last year is important. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we did have a rough winter, but we had quite a few weeds last year too. And mm -hmm. you know, if you had problems with cucklebur, perilla mint, or some of the ones that caused us problems mm -hmm. last year, you're probably gonna have those again. Yeah, probably in even greater numbers. Uh, and th there's, to me, there's kind of three different seasons for weed control. You've got the, the spring, you've got the, you know, your overwinter buttercup, your chickweed, mm -hmm. uh, those type things that thistles. are thistles that are right there now <laughs> that you can get. And then we're going to have a second crop come on and usually around June mm -hmm. or your cuckleburra, your mint, uh, your horse nettle, those types. And then this fall, it could be uh, those things can go to seed and come back and you'll have another set uh, opportunity there in late fall to hit them again. Uh, but know what weeds you've got and when it's going to be there. Uh, and then what to apply. That's that's the key to weed control. And you know, you mentioned uh, just the other day about how much renovation is going to have to go on this mm -hmm. year. And one of the keys to that is getting your weeds under control. So yes. we ha we have time to still get control of our weeds in three, mm -hmm. three different seasons, like you mentioned. Yeah. So it'd be a good time to research that and take care Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Be ready. Absolutely. Thanks, Kevin, for the information. This particular publication is AGR 172. It's an excellent publication on weeds. 
what to control them, when to control them, because timing's probably a very important part of all of this. So, Kevin, appreciate you bringing the information. If you have questions, make sure to contact us at your local Extension office. We appreciate you watching and hope you have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.